What's good, my beautifuls? My beautiful people, I'm here. I'm getting ready to make some enchiladas. I got the onion and bell pepper. I already chopped up onion and bell pepper. Chop that on up. I throw up in that ground beef. The cheap ground beef. Um, Got some tortilla shells. Olives. Come on, come on, keep going. Some refried beans. In the enchilada sauce, we got the the green enchilada sauce, mild. We got the red enchilada sauce, mild. We got the sour cream. We got some salsa. And I'm going to show y'all what I did with these sauces a little bit later in the video. How I make my own enchilada sauce and make it black skin style. You feel me? And that's some cheese. I wish I would have got more cheese, but I thought I already had some cheese in the refrigerator. And yeah. Y'all gonna see. Because I made two pans of enchiladas. So y'all gonna see. So that's me. As you can see, y'all always use that fucking skillet. Um, I say that's me. Bitch. <laughs> Done. <laughs> anyway, I'm putting the, um, the ground beef for the skillet. Oh my god. Me and voiceovers. Let's see how this shit goes down. So yeah, put that good on ground beef up in the Ready to fry it on it. Smash it down that fork. That shit so thick. It's like I wasn't even doing nothing. And I'm using the bad hand. Well, the bad arm. But you know the string come. You use your hand, but the string come from your arm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all always try to make me sound like I'm slow. And um, just a little trick. The Mexican homie had um showed me this. And I noticed a lot of people put water in their um, ground beef. I never knew you put water in ground beef, but... Um, he said it do something to the grease. It, I don't know, but it seemed like it sucked the grease out into the water. So when you pour it out, I don't know, but it, yeah, I like it. I like adding water in my ground beef. If you don't do it, try it. If you don't like it, don't do it again. I can't explain what the fuck you do, but I like it. I love me some garlic, and I um, kind of didn't put enough, but I didn't want to make it too garlicky, like it's going to be Italian or something. Mexicans like spices, but I don't like spices. That's why. But I'm adding some little pepper up here. You know, you know, pepper just a little, mm, just a little. Mm, and I don't do shit unless you get heavy handed with it. And I love me some complete. I could put the whole damn bottle in there. Did I get greedy with it? Go insane. Not really. You know, I can't be putting all them damn. I don't know. Salt really is incomplete, but I try to stay away from my food being salty. Salty is out. I love this seasoning right here. It's, um, you know, the chicken bone. I heard y'all say that shit. That chicken seasoning, but this is the tomato chicken seasoning. It's so good. Especially when you're doing Mexican dishes like so. And, um, uh, yeah. Go ahead and mix that all up, up in there. Get them seasonings up in there, all up in there, that meat. I hate the beginning process of ground beef when I'm cooking it for everybody. Because it be so thick consistency. And I wanted to use the fork thing and I was doing something smart. And um, it worked somewhat. But it, didn't, it wasn't doing what I really wanted to do. I had to get the, um, the damn spatula. Oh, wait. I still got the fucking fork. I thought I got the spatula. I know I'm about to get the spatula after this. But yeah, I'm mixing it on up. Y'all, oh, that shit looks so good. Oh, it was so good. Actually, as I speak, it's some in the fridge. I already have some leftovers, though. I don't, I don't want no more. But yeah. Oh. I didn't put no sazon in this. Oh, well, obviously, bitch, if you don't see. See? Okay. It is what it is. Alrighty, now. Might fast forward this part. Anyway, I was about to say something. Forgot what I was gonna say. Yep. Still working with the fork, cutting it. Come on now. She getting up in here though. <laughs> Do your one too, baby. Mm. 
that juice look good, although I know it's not good because it got grease in it, but, and the first one, she ain't even finished, but it look good like this. Oh, <sighs> I could have drank that, redid it, um, put a little bit more seasoning like I did, and put some water, and made some ground beef, put a pack of on up in there, I would have ate that shit just like so. Hmm. Okay, I got the spatula right now. Because you know it's damn near about time. And I let my meat cook. I let my meat cook. I keep stopping the uh, the video and come back and uh, finish recording. But my meat was cooking for a minute. And yeah. Got all them flavors up in there. Even after I drained it, I had put it on low fire. I ain't drained it right here. But you gonna see it. Now I didn't drain the meat. Look at that old pot of grease up there. But anyway, I drained the meat and um now it's on low fire just sitting there cooking while I get ready to set up the other little stuff I gotta set up. Okay. Look at my fat ass. The big piece too. Mmm, good. I approve. <laughs> That shit, that shit was well seasoned. And when I say well seasoned, it might be a little under seasoned for y'all, but it was well seasoned. Yeah, pour that sauce in here, girl. So, as uh, so what I'm about to do right here, I lost myself. I'm just staring and shit. Like, I'm. Anyway, so I put both of my sauces in here because I don't like the red sauce to just be like, it, it be like kind of spicy. I don't know. And it do something to my stomach. It like fuck up my stomach. Then the green sauce really ain't got no flavor for real. So I put both of them together. And I also like to add water in it just to kind of like smooth it out for, you know, whatever little spices they got up in them, um, up in that excuse me but whatever spices they got up in there i don't want it to mess up my stomach so this this works for me y'all for me making enchiladas because you know shit we love some enchiladas i don't know what black um household don't like enchiladas but yes them them enchiladas used to fuck my stomach up and i figured out a way to make it where i could still have something and enjoy it and be okay you feel me and, um, I had did something before. I don't remember what I did. I don't think I had did this. <laughs> I'm always doing something new. I'm not gonna lie. But I know, I know how shit takes, so I know how it's gonna come out. Sometimes I'm gonna be fucking up, but I didn't fuck up right here, trust and believe. And something else I had put in my sauce, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, it was, uh, spaghetti sauce. I have, but I didn't want to put spaghetti sauce. I wanted to keep the Mexican theme. You feel me? Because last time I was kind of tasting spaghetti sauce in my enchiladas. And it was like, not giving what I wanted to give. But, for anybody that don't like enchilada sauce, so you might not eat enchiladas, you can use spaghetti sauce instead. Same preparation, just use spaghetti sauce. Works wonders. But yeah, I added that in there because I really forgot. I'm like, I know I, I said in the store, I know I asked spaghetti sauce, but my ass still picked up salsa. And yeah, I did what I did and it worked. That's the Sasson Jennifer sound on sad shit, right? But whatever, how you call that? Two packs. I don't know why I didn't. We got two boxes in the other box. The packs are bigger. I could have just got one big pack instead of using two. I'm probably going to regret that. But you always use some, you know, close to pack up. I don't know why I was trying to use a fork for that anyway. Go on here and put it in the sink. My hand's clean. You obviously know if you if you cooking, your hands, of course, you, your hands have to get clean. Even if you didn't think to wash your hands, you have to wash every damn thing you using. So your hands are obviously getting washed. Okay, so what I'm doing right here. Okay, I'm so now I'm about to put 
some of that uh, tomato seasoning in there. Just to give, you know, a little... Because I put that water in there, so I didn't want to kill the flavor and make it watery. So, that's the kind of like bring the flavor back type shit. So, now I got to stir it up from putting the sasson in there and putting that tomato seasoning in there. Not only that, I got that chunky ass salsa in there. So, I got to move that around. And so, what I'm about to do with that is get them shells and dip it in there. Some people, uh, they roll their um, enchiladas. I ain't got time for all that. So, if my stuff not called enchiladas, it's enchilada pie. How about that? <laughs> but enchilada pie, I know I do an enchilada pie too, but the way I do enchilada pie, I do it the same way, but I would um, add beans and rice into the meat, blah, 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 into the meat. And put it in there like that, and we'll call that enchilada pie. But yeah, I don't really like it like that, to be honest. It's cool. I just don't like it. I, my, my fat ass just want the meat and the cheese. I'm a meat and cheese type of girl. <laughs> so I add sauce down there for um the sh you know you gotta put the shells down there for the shells won't burn. Cause you can put a little sauce from the shell, but it still be like super dry at that bottom. So when I do it like this, it it be moist. It don't be dry. Actually, I like the way I did that too with the um that salsa too, cause I think that salsa had kind of gave it more of a moisture, because my stuff ain't never kept this moisture the way it did. Like I had leftovers and it's still moist. It's not dried out. So I think the corporation of the sauces kept the moisture, cause I re I used a lot of sauce, but really I didn't use a lot of sauce. As you can see, as we go on in the video, I really didn't use a lot of sauce for real. I used enough. See, I ain't folding up shit. I'm just laying it down. And I'm layering it like that for you, you could get the tortilla. Um, shit, for you could get the tortilla. So, you know, if I just put one down there, you ain't gonna really taste all that sauce, cheese, and meat. So, yeah. It just tastes like it's folded. You know how you fold them and some people place them on top of each other? I just did it like this. It's simple for me. I'm not about to sit there and roll every enchilada. And then it seems like there ain't enough of damn space. If you got a single enchilada just rolled up in there, you gonna get enough, but... We greedy. I like to, when I cook, I like to see a lot of food. Even if I don't eat a lot, I like to see a lot. <laughs> Maybe because I'm used to, I used to always have to cook for, like, my mom used to say we used to cook it for an army because my auntie, her kids, then it was us. So it was like a lot of us. All together, it was a lot of us. And we, we cook for motherfuckers to get food. We don't cook to taste the food, as you can see with my big ass. We don't cook to taste the food. We cook to fucking get food. You want to eat. We trying to feast. <sighs> but, you know, as you get older, you kind of calm the fuck down because, you know, you can start having complications and shit. <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> Yeah, what am I doing here? Cheese. And as I was doing this, y'all, I really for I was forgetting how to fucking do enchiladas. I said, "Bitch, you been that long since I did enchiladas?" I didn't put the cheese. I was really lost right there. I didn't know if I put the cheese on shit. And then I, I think I was thinking, like, just put the shell, you can put the cheese on the shell. But I don't know. I could have did it the other way. I think I did that backwards. I did, but it is what it is. That shit still tasted good. It's all going to go in your mouth regardless. Fuck how it's layered. As long as it come out.
Okay, so now I'm layering it with some cheese. I was like, I was tired as hell this day. Oh my God, y'all, this day. I ain't doing too much of nothing, just doing the same process over and over. Cheese, shells, meat, y'all go see. So, um, when I went out to the store, because I went out to get the stuff or whatever, because, you know, I have to get the stuff because I'm making Sunday dinner, so, you know, it's Friday. So, I was like, let me go ahead and get shit early. Then I was like, cause technically, I was I was trying to make Sunday dinner on a Friday. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make that for Sunday. And I'm like, what I'm going to make today? We're going to make enchiladas. Boom. So, anyway, as I'm heading out, not even, I've been out the house probably like a good, it only take about five minutes to get down the street. I'm pretty much down the street, like two blocks away from my grandma's house. And listen, we see cars and shit. I'm, I'm ducking down a fucking um, back street to get off of another back street because there's a school right there. And it's after school, cars lined up crazy in the street, not that wide. So, I'm like... Uh, detour, I hit a fucking block, hit the next block to go up the busy street, and the next block over, it's police cars and shit, and I'm like, what the hell going on? Me and my baby look, and it's a body out there, they had them, they didn't have them covered, they had like this little short picket tent around him, but we seen his foot out, and it was obviously he was gone, like, it was a dead body. R.I.P. to whoever that was. I don't know who it was. I, I am known from the area. I mean, I'm known from the area. The fuck am I talking about? I sound like a gangbanger. I'm raised from that area, and I know certain people. But, you know, me not really been around there in a cool minute. Shit, I don't know. If I know that person, I don't know. I don't know. It's my point in saying that. Anyway, so I'm pouring, I poured a lot of sauce low-key. I was saucy, saucy. But, um, and then people were just driving crazy. The police was all out. I said, what the hell's going on? I thought March Madness was, um, some basketball shit. College basketball or something. Not people to go crazy. Wait. I think I'm recording. I'm recording. Um, so I had finished it off with some tortilla shells. Sauced it up. Put some cheese on top. Had some chopped bell peppers and green onions. And put on top. And now this is some um, sliced olives. And I'm just like, excuse me. I'm crushing the olives in my hand to like make them smaller and spread them out. Make it look pretty. So yeah, people out here driving crazy and shit like. What the fuck y'all got going on? It was so hectic. It, my legs sore from stopping and going, stopping and going, and just because you can't. Boy, when you drive, you gotta pay attention to everybody else. I swear, I need to do a fucking video in the car, and teach people how to drive, because I really feel like I could really be a um a, a driving teacher for real. Give some people some real hints, some shit they never thought of, and be like, wow, like damn, I never thought of that like that. You feel me? Because I see people like watching videos and shit like that. So, I need to do some videos on some um, driving tip skills. And make it funny or something. So, okay. So, I'm making a second pan of enchiladas. This one just a cheese pan. Because certain people in the house we have. One minute they eat basically say supreme um enchiladas. And then next minute they just want cheese enchiladas. Like, they don't want the fucking vegetables on top. Like, it, there's no big difference. Because once you stick it in the oven. And so, yeah, the um the other pan, I didn't put that in the oven on 350. Because I didn't want the cheese to um get dry. Like, be burnt and dry. So, to keep my cheese moist. And I didn't want to cover it because I didn't want the cheese to um be stuck to the thing. Which... I had asked Jennifer to put the damn foil paper on the thing and the cheese when the cheese did get stuck to the flipper. But it still was eatable. That shit good. But, um, damn, I forgot what I was talking about. Talk too much. I forgot what I was talking about. What am I doing? Oh, I'm adding, I'm, um, 
Oh, yeah, I had to put some water in the can because my sauce is getting kind of low. So I had to put some water in the can, shook it up, and there was still some sauce in there, poured it in there. And then I put some more seasoning in there to get them, like, you know, get my flavor back, my sauce back to what it was. Yep, so this is the second pan. And pretty much everybody had one plate and it was full, so it was a lot of leftovers. So, inshallah, this was a two day dinner in this house. Okay, so, yeah. Finish this off with this sauce. Putting it all on top of the um oh putting it all on top of the shell. I didn't even move the sauce around. Damn, I was ready to finish. <laughs> that was not enough of cheese. So, I didn't have no more cheese. So, I had got the um, pepper jack. I had some pepper jack singles in here. I felt like it needed, it needed a little bit more cheese, and I felt like that was going to help. I should have broke it up and, like, put it everywhere. Y'all, I just really laid that motherfucking cheese on top of here. <laughs> like, I didn't have to keep it for no presentation. I wasn't cooking for nobody. It was some home-cooked shit. Hey, it was good, though. We fucked it up. Hmm. Might go down there and get some mouth up here watering looking at it. Thinking about what it tastes like looking at it. So here I go with them uh with that cheese. I keep redoing my recording. I don't even know if I mentioned this cheese yet. But um I ran out of cheese so I had got some um some pepper jack singles that was up in there and placed up on there. I think that was all I had was some four pieces. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying to really move it around, girl. It is what it is. If I would have broken that up, that wouldn't even help. Every time I make enchiladas, I always end up making two pans for some reason. I be aiming for one pan and be end up making two pans. So, that is... What's that? rice so that's the rice so i'm about to make some spanish rice my way is making spanish rice i normally make it different but i'm gonna tell y'all what i did right here so i took the rest of that sauce so y'all see me put in the sauce for the enchilada the enchilada sauce i took the rest of that sauce and just put up in there that's that tomato seasoning put some of that in there that's gonna be the seasoning for it that's what's giving really that's what's really giving it its flavor and the um saison i have put a pack of saison in there I'm moving too fast. Let me slow down. So right now, I think I'm grabbing the garlic and I'm putting yep, putting that garlic up in here. Not too much because it's a Mexican dish. It's not Italian dish. So and a little pepper. You know, just a little pepper, not too much. I don't even know what I really be using pepper for for real because I don't use pepper to spice nothing up. I just put it in there for the look, I guess, just to see black spots in my food. So that's that pack of saison, and I'm gonna put it in there. I really need to go to Google for I know how to pronounce that shit because I do not be saying it right. Put that up in there, stir that up. Oh, so um, you put oil. So I have put some vegetable oil in there. Oh, not yet, but I'm coming with the vegetable. Oil. I know I am. I know I'm in. So you just, you know, dab some vegetable oil up in there. Not too much, just enough. And um, just let it boil like regular rice. Let's see how much I put in here. I know I put that much. Yeah, that's enough. I don't measure nothing, as y'all can see. I eyeball everything. I've been cooking so long, I feel like I could eyeball everything without measuring. But some things, it depends. If it's box, yeah, I got to measure it. But if it's just some freestyle type cooking, I don't measure it, nothing. So, yeah, normally, though, how I cook this, I would um, chop up some onion, put some grease in the, in the pot, 
and put the onion in the um in the grease and let it um cook down or whatever. And then I'll put the rice in there, kind of like stir the rice up a little bit. See, there we go. Doesn't look like Spanish rice. And I will let it um cook like that, and I will use the um tomato seasoning and put some in there for color. And also for that flavor. That flavor is good on that rice. And that's... And the refined beans weren't done yet. So, this the cheese enchilada. This is why I told y'all she put that on there. And the, <coughs> the cheese got stuck. But And y'all see how it look like mozzarella cheese? Oh, Lord. <coughs> enchilada's so good. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all just don't know. So that's the end of this video, my beautiful people. Um, this is my enchilada dinner. I got my plate at the end. I'll show y'all what my plate look like. Um, until next time, peace, love, and don't forget to smile.